Okay, everybody, today I'm going to let you in my little small place, my little small space. Um, this is my nail room, but guys, keep in mind that I am also a hairstylist, so this is my nail and hair room, but we're going to focus on the nail area and the nail stuff. So, I'm standing with my back towards the door. So, when you come in the door, you come in the door, turn back around, you come in the door, and to the right is... A picture of moi this is me like probably about three years ago three and a half maybe three so it goes from that to this little space right here where there is two bar stools and my grass wall um, the grass wall that I put up I did not want it to be thick I want it to be a smooth um, area so I went and got this at Lowe's or Home Depot I can't remember which one and it was like 70 bucks and um, I put it up with a big um, heavy um, stapler gun so yeah these two bar stools I leave those bar stools there so that if anyone comes with a client that they will have somewhere to sit which I don't recommend really since COVID um, I like for people to come by themselves no kids or anything like that so yeah, but just in case something happens and there's an extra body, I want to make sure I have a couple spots for someone to sit. And this right here is just some stuff that came for some of my press on stuff, some packaging and stuff from Amazon. And then we go over here. Oh, uh, before I go over there, I'll show you guys, this is my small space. Uh, this is where I do hair at, my area with the mirror and everything. So yeah, so we come over here and on top of this space, we have my red iguana hand, practice hand. We have the cuticle remover. This is some good stuff I use from Sally's I get it from. And then we have the young nails. We have the Young Nails 32 ounce. We have the Young Nails Swipe. And of course, if you got the mystery boxes this year, you got two of these in it. So this is my little monomer container. We have acetone. And of course, got to have Lysol. And then I keep, um, I think, a Windex to wipe off my table because my nail table is glass on top. And this is my speaker so that I can play all my music for my clients and keep myself busy as well. Okay, and this little thingy right here that everyone gets from Michaels. Only reason I bought this is because I'm like, I'm running out of space to put acrylic powders and glitters and whatever it is. So I wanted to, you know, start getting some extra space so I didn't have a reason to be like, I don't have nowhere to put it. Nah, I got somewhere to put it. <laughs> so it's not really much in this stuff. So this is just some double-sided tape, some stickers to put on the labels, um, the charger to my speaker. Uh, some young nails files and this damn thing everybody got in their not polished box that we don't care about also the my the my virus we don't care about that i'm just saying so empty and this is like stickers and uh stickers and just foils and stuff like that this is just more foils, foils that I unraveled that I didn't want to wind and twist back up. So these are a lot of foils from Opre and everything. So yeah, that's just a lot of foils and stuff, you know. These are tips, um, not polished tips. We have the extreme universal tips that everybody got this stuff in their uh, mystery boxes. So if you know, you know. But yeah, the long coffin tips, which are only uh, some like refill sizes and then the extreme universal tips I can put in my red iguana hand so we got that stuff stored in there and then this is empty 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 okay I got space to put what I need to put so what and then we got some um some little press on stands and some little just miscellaneous stuff. The wheels that go on the bottom of this thing that I didn't use. Some tips that fell on the floor. So just basically a junk drawer. So yeah, but that's just basically for some extra space. So I have, 
And then right here we have my little garbage. And then right here we have these two beautiful chairs that my husband bought me. I love these chairs. He bought me these about a year ago. And the quality is great on them. And they are adjustable. Going over to my nail table um, from the client view. See, we have some snacks and little goodies we keep in a um, bowl right here for them to grab if they want to grab something while they're getting the nails done. It was so many Snickers, Milky Way, Baby Ruth, like you name it. And these little, whoo, these little kids, they done came in here and just basically stole all the candy. So I got to refill that bowl. But right here, um, I always keep my um, antibacterial sanitizer, but this is the champagne toast kind. Yeah, smell good, smell good. And then we have our little monomer container and we have our um, um, swipe in the bottle. We have files right there. We have the matted by not polished, the glossed, the triple X bond. Um, then we have this little thing with the bits and stuff in it. I just recently threw away all my bits to buy new bits. Um, so yeah. And then we have the brushes. We have the... Um, liner brush this is a 3d nail art brush this is my new young nails number 12 brush this is the number 12 not polished brush um this is another not polished gel brush these are some young nail liners um then we have um we have the um cutters for to take the stones off i use these for pigments and then we have the little tip cutter and everything i put the magnetic uh, things on and then on this side we have um, some of my best top coat I do love eye gel top coat it is the bomb I don't give a damn what nobody say eye gel top coat come through we just don't like waiting on the shipping but yeah I have the JC Beauty concept um, odor reducer drops I have an extra thing of young nails protein bond I always keep sitting there we have some different top coats we have the young nails top coat we have some Madam Glam base coat. We have the Not Polished Gem Gel. Oh, we got some Fenty Lip Gloss because, baby, these big lips get chapped sometimes. So, yeah, got to keep some chapstick near um, some lip gloss. We don't want to scare nobody. <laughs> we got some um, Cuticle Oil by Young Nails. We have the Young Nails Brush On Glue. And on top of my desk, I have this Melody Susie Drill. I love this drill. This is one of the best drills that I've had. Um, I done scratched it up. But when I say this drill is the bomb, it's quiet and it stays charged for weeks and weeks and weeks. Hey, can't beat it. So this little thing right here, I can wipe this off. I get these from Dollar Tree. Whenever I don't feel like using my dental bibs up over and over and it's just me working on myself or working on my um, own hand or practicing or whatever I use these and get out everything I need so that um, it doesn't bother um, the table and it's easy for me to just wipe off y'all gotta excuse my hand if y'all see it and it look kind of rough like something on it <laughs> I've been doing here um, installing frontals and stuff like that so that's glue that I always use my hand and use the skinny part of the comb the uh, metal part and put it on my hand and glide it on but yeah so this is my little um, tripod thingy I've been using. Um, my husband is definitely getting me a new one. But right now I've been using what I got, doing what I got to do. Um, and this is my tabletop. My logo is on there. My daughter uh, put this table together for me. She's 16. I love her. She does so much for me. <laughs> so it's glass. And then she has my logo underneath. This is my Kiara Sky Drill. Um, I scratched it not too long ago with the drill and I almost cried I almost cried but yeah I love that drill I just I love that um lamp I just wish that it stayed charged longer so I am looking to get a new one I think nailed to the hustle she was reviewing the eye gel so I'm really looking into thinking about getting the eye gel lamp so when you go down here this is the little whoo I almost dropped it I almost dropped it this is the little a little box, which I got a lot of little boxes like this from the press on boxes. So yeah, I replaced that. But I keep the nail prep, the Mia Secret nail prep, the Mia Secret Bond, the Young Nails, and the Beatles nail glue. 
If you make press-ons and you install them on people, this is the best glue to use. My clients, I install press-ons on them and I use that glue for like they it keeps it lasts it makes them last for over 2 weeks. My longest client has had her press-ons on for 3 weeks using that glue. So yeah, and I also put it on with my Gel X as well. Um so yeah. So this is a junk drawer again. These are just swatches. This is my Opera lamp um, that I use sometimes if I need it. Um, if one of my lamps go out or something that I hook to the table. Just some palettes, just a little diamond thing I keep wiped down, put in here. All of these files and stuff is files and buffers that I use on myself when I'm practicing. And yet it's just another extra thing of Young Nails glue. And this is just like the little things to put on. Uh, the tip cutter. This dollar is because I was cutting it up when I did some money nails. <laughs> and, you know, just some little makeup little wedges when I used to use those to blend and do ombre. Some extra scissors, some swatches. Just basically a junk drawer. So some more of those things I tell you I get from Dollar um, Tree. They're good to put on the table um, to use. Empty, empty, empty. So, yeah. That stuff is basically space, 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 space that I will be needing um, to put more stuff in. So when we come over here, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, you have, let's move this cord out the way. It goes to my lap that's above. Uh, when we come over here, these are masks uh, for myself and for my clients if they need one. These are the little um wiper things with no cotton no cotton wipes uh these are my gloves that i use yeah so that's all that's in there and then that little thing back there is like supposed to be for to um when you're doing liner brushes and artwork you can sit it on there so it don't get everywhere and then this is just some extra buffers and some files in there and then this is my gel x lamps um, the little lead flash lamp from Not Polish, some swatch sticks I need to put away, some some um, sanding bits, different kind down here. And then this stuff right here is stuff that I have used when I'm doing the uh, pop-off method and stuff. So if I got oils or anything in it, I separate all of this stuff so it don't get mixed up with the stuff that um, I use for clients. Um, right here is just um, blooming gel, some E-Nail Couture, um, press on gel and some stuff that I just don't have right up at the top anymore. I think this was some Lisette gel dehydrator. And down here, this is just the cords that I keep for my lamp and my drill and everything. So everything, all of this stuff is really for space. So when we come over here, my daughter, my 10 year old drew me this. I mean, made me this in class one day. So um, it says, I love fringes. <laughs> um, it says that because um, we are commandment keepers and um, it was a commandment for us to wear fringes on our garments, on our clothing with a border of blue. So yeah, we bought that life. So yeah, she made that for me. And then the necklace is from a little sister in class who also uh, makes jewelry. So I just hang both of them there because they mean something to me. Okay, so right here, this is a lot of my Madame Glam polishes. I love Madame Glam polishes. I stand by Madame Glam polishes. They are thick, thick, thick. Most of them are one coat. They have beautiful colors. Um, I just really love Madame Glam polishes. You can do so much nail art with them and everything. So that's a lot of my Madame Glam polishes. This also is some Madame Glam and some eye gels mixed in there. Some eye gel acrylics. I'm not a fan of eye gel acrylics, really. I mean, they're all right, but I just won't break my neck going to buy them. Um, yeah, and then that's some more Madame Glam's um, polishes. We got some uh, Lisette hard gels back there. Uh, they are stuck. Um, I guess some got on the lids or something, and I haven't been able to get them apart if anybody know how i can get those apart please let me know because i tried acetone and hot water yeah <laughs> so um this is just extra stuff little beads um 
my sister from class brought me this. It's so beautiful. I need to get me a, um oil to put in there so that I can plug it up. Just some extra little uh little white thingies for the nails. Um, and then just some little balls and little decorations. Just some little decorations and stuff I throw back there. And then further to the back, that's my um my stand that goes to my red iguana hand. And then when we come over here, we have our acrylic creamery, our acrylics. Um, we have some Enel Couture stuff, more Madam Glam stuff back there, though. Some new polishes I just popped up there. I haven't even used them. And then we have some dynamic nail supply. We got some Enel Couture back there, some more Madam Glam. Um, I think those are Pure Serenity Builder Gels. So, yeah, we have the dynamic nail supplies. I've never used any of these, probably maybe once or twice. Um, yeah, but they are definitely some I'm going to have to start breaking into. So, right now, here goes some JC Beauty Concept Monomer 32 ounce. And we have the Koopa um, Structure Powder. That's very good. Uh, we have the eye gel refill bottle um, in the top coat. And then the brown box is also um, top coat. Um, they had a special. I think it was like $60, $70. You get the 8-ounce top coat and 12 bottles. So, yeah, we have plenty of that. And then this is Koopa Odorless Monomer, Glitter Bells Odorless Monomer. That's when I was going through the stage of not wanting to smell monomer and thinking I could get around it. But... Yeah, I don't have time for that stuff right now because <laughs> it just moves too slow. But yeah, it was good. So, yeah. So that's that little stand. Um, and then we come over here and we have... Let's see. Right here is these glitters that I've been telling you guys to go get from um, Michael's... No, Hobby Lobby. Um, they're sugar glitters. They are everything. They work so great. So those are Nail House. That's my little Nail House stash. Um, they're acrylic powder. That is acrylic creamery. New, newer packaging and um, colors. Those are just some dupes that I already have out for not polish um, gel polishes. And that is more acrylic by not polish. Um... Yeah, y'all see this ass thing of red um, <laughs> acrylic powder they sent me in one of my mystery boxes. It's sparkly and it's beautiful. Hey, if you need some of it, you can get it. Because who the hell finna use this big old thing of red? But I will be using that clear. This is a size 14, not polished brush. I've never used more gem gel. This is a lot of young nails on this tray. Um, this is the stuff that came in the the gray tops. It came in the uh, mystery box. These are the little containers they sent us. I made a lot of different little glitter gels. I mean, glitter acrylic powders, and they're gorgeous. Um, those are all of Young Nails' new liners. They are gorgeous. You definitely want those. I think I posted a reel or something on those. And these are Young Nails powders. Uh, you got Cover Earth, Cover Flamingo, Cover Nude. We got Cover Blush. We got some Cover... Another cover, Flamingo. Those little ones came in the um, mystery box. Then we have some not polished gels. Gel polishes right there. We have some chrome um, rub for the go on the nails. We have some more glitters and stuff, foils. This is a whole lot of Kier Sky glitter and some extra gel paints that I bought from Madam Glam because those two, they run out. I always go back and get these are diamonds, charms, whatever you name it. It's like four different containers. Like, just, they go all the way down. So, and these are Madam, Jam, Madam Glam paint pots. They are great. Uh, these, this is an airbrush system. I'm going to do a review on that, too, from Amazon. So, more acrylics. So, this is just another section that's by all of that right there. And so then we come over here. This is my little apron that my 16-year-old made me as well with the lion on it. With the fringes. So I get it pretty dirty with nail products. 
Um, and then when we turn over here, that's just some hair stuff right there. But this wall right here is acrylic and nail tips and stuff. So this right here is all um, not polished tips. We got Aprys. We got Kiara Sky. We got um, the full cover nails for the Apri systems. We got more tips from Amazon at the bottom. So all of this stuff is just tips and full cover nails that I would need. And then when we go right here, we got um, foils, not polish. We got more not polish acrylic and that beautiful picture of me right there. That was definitely about three years ago. Oh, look at you, girl. But yeah, they go more not polish. <laughs> Then we got more not polished. I love this little thing right here. It says beauty is an attitude. It lifts up and I can put stuff in it. Um, more not polished. Those are some swat sticks. I'm missing like seven things of swat sticks I got to get together. This is my glitter bells. And I love glitter bells, but this is my little glitter bell stash. And if you go up to the window, there's more not polished. More not polished. And yeah. So, this is my little nail area, you guys. So, yeah. Yep. This is everything. My nail table. I love my table. My 16-year-old put it all together. Yep. So, this is everything, guys. This is my little nail space. My little happy space. This is where I take care of business and do what I do. All right. Thank you guys for watching.